figure out how far to put a geosynchronous satellite away from the planet Earth in its orbit around the Earth so that it works. Now, a geosynchronous satellite is a satellite that stays in the exact same position all the time over the Earth. So if your house is located right here on the Earth, that satellite's going to be over top of your house at all times. Uh, these satellites are used in all sorts of different communications. If you have satellite television, your direct TV dish needs to point at the satellite at all times. So if the satellite starts moving around in the sky, you're going to lose your reception. So that's the kind of stuff that we use these satellites for. And now we just need to figure out, well, how far from the Earth do we have to put it? We're trying to find R. You know the mass of the Earth? And even though it didn't give it in the problem, by definition, the Earth goes around once in 24 hours. So that means the satellite has to go around once in 24 hours as well to stay in the same place in the sky all the time. So the time of orbit is 24 hours, or what we're going to use, 86,400 seconds in a day. So now we have to solve. We know that the force of gravity is the force that holds the satellite in place going around the sun, or going around the Earth. So force of gravity is a centripetal force. So I'm going to use my equation for gravity, which is big G, mass of the Earth, times the mass of the satellite all over the distance between the two of them squared. And on the right side, I'm looking for r, and I have a time. So I'm going to use the form of the equation for centripetal force that is m 4 pi squared r over t squared. And the m is the mass of the orbiting object, so that's the mass of the satellite. Four pi squared. R all over T squared. A, G, and T are the exact same color, but you know what they should be. Okay, from here, we just have to cancel some stuff out. The mass of the satellite will cancel. And we're trying to solve for R. So here we're going to do a little bit of algebra. I'm going to get rid of fractions. Fractions uh, tend to confuse people and make people have algebra mistakes. So I'm going to multiply the R squared up to the right side of this equation. And I'm going to multiply the t squared up over to the left side of the equation. What that's going to give me is on the left, big G, mass of the Earth, times t squared equals 4 pi squared. And r times r squared gives me r cubed. Now just a little bit more algebra to solve for r, and we are done. I'm going to divide the 4 pi. 4 pi squared over here to the left, giving me big G, mass of the Earth, T squared, over 4 pi squared. And that would equal R cubed, but I don't want R cubed, I just want R, so I take the cube root of this left side. Now we just have to plug in our numbers and solve. So we know that big G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 newton meters squared per kilogram squared. The mass of the Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And the time is 86,000. 400 seconds. And we divide this by 4 pi squared. All of that is cube rooted to give us R. <sighs> a lot of stuff to put in your calculator, but once you do, you should get an answer of 4.22 times 10 to the 7th meters is how far away the satellite would have to be from the center of the planet Earth. Because we always talk about the distance from center to center of the object. So this isn't how far above the, the surface of the Earth from the center, but this would tell us where we would need to put.